Every time you charge your phone, flip a switch, or more recently plug in your car, you're tapping into one of the most complex machines in the country. And right now, it's under more pressure than ever. The power grid as we know it isn't just a bunch of wires. It's a massive, synchronized machine made of three key parts. It starts with generation. This is where electricity is created, burning coal or natural gas, or even splitting atoms in nuclear reactors. These power plants turn heat into motion spinning turbines that generate high-voltage electricity. From there, that electricity travels through steel towers and ultra-high-voltage lines, often stretching hundreds of miles. As it approaches a city, substations step that voltage down. Transformers bring it to usable levels so it can safely flow into your neighborhood, your home, or your phone. It's one continuous loop. Generate, move, and deliver. But here's the hard part. Electricity has to be used the instant it's made. You can store electricity, sure, but not much of it, and not for long. Grid-scale batteries exist, but they're limited. They can only supply power for a few hours, not days, and not for entire regions. And it doesn't help that demand is only going up. We've got more devices, more data centers, and more everything. That's why grid operators are upgrading tech, expanding transmission, and trying to keep this whole system built for a different era from falling behind. Because in the modern age, if the grid fails, well, everything else fails with it. 